I'm not gonna lie, straight off the bat, it's looking, it's looking a little bit grayish and I'm giving it a side eye. So let's just go ahead and see what it's actually gonna swatch like. Everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. If you have been with me, I want to thank you for your continued support. Today's video is all about Anastasia Beverly Hills. So we will be swatching her spring mini lip gloss set. Um, what it is, is a limited edition mini lip set with four new nude lip gloss shades that features a full pigment formula with a lacquer or sparkle finish. And these are also cruelty free. And there is 0.07 ounces of product in each tube. So the first shade I will start with is called Nude, N-O-O-D. I'm not gonna lie, straight off the bat, it's looking, it's looking a little bit grayish and I'm giving it a side eye. So let's just go ahead and see what it's actually gonna swatch like. But first, definitely smells vanilla. I think that was also somewhere in the description that I read that it's of a vanilla scent. I am getting peach undertone from this lip gloss. Okay, not crazy about the color and I noticed that straight off the bat, I thought the color was a bit off. It's a peachy, lighter shade that's not very complimenting to my skin tone. So I'm not so crazy about it for that reason. So I applied a lip liner from ColourPop. This is the shade Hoopty to the nude lip gloss and this is the results of it. So it's not as bad if you line your lips with a darker lip liner. So it's not as bland looking or casket ready looking. So if you think you're gonna struggle with pulling this shade off, then a darker lip liner is gonna be your best friend so you can sport this lip gloss the way you want to and feel confident wearing it as well. So our next shade up is called Bella. I do have to say Bella looks a lot more promising than nude. I don't know if it's just me, but I remember these lip glosses being a lot more pigmented in the past. To me, they're not as pigmented. And that's a little bit disappointing. So these are not applying as pigmented as I thought they would. But right now I feel like I'm not getting the coverage that I would like. So I dimmed my light just a tad bit so you can see that it's not as pigmented as I remember and I feel like I'm being cheated here. Give me a thumbs up if you guys like this shade or just let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below. Now we're moving into the sparkle shades and this one is called Peachy, like literally, uh, it has the extended Y at the end. All right, so like the name says, obviously this is a peachy color, or at least we hope it is a peachy color. I am excited to try this. You know what? You can't really talk about Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses without mentioning Saint Tropez. 
if you are into Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses, you know what I'm talking about when I mention the name San Tropez. To me, San Tropez is a lip gloss that is just made for goddesses. It's such a beautiful, like champagne gold, pinkish, goldish, champagne-y. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's a beautiful lip gloss from Anastasia that's my absolute favorite. And these are definitely sheer. By the way, if you were wondering, I can actually feel the glitter in these lip glosses. So it's not as bad, but you still feel a little bit of the glitter. So I just thought that I'd mention that out because a lot of people always want to know, can you actually feel the glitter? Cause I hate that. I do too, but some lip glosses are just way more overwhelming than others and this one isn't so bad it's actually very smooth but um i can feel like just a little grainy glitter on my lips so that's something that i have to mention just so you guys know all right so peachy is here she has arrived i don't think there's anything else i can do to make her show up um very clear translucent color again nothing really special about this but if you are not into uh, pigmented glosses then this is where this shade would be perfect for you or you can even use it as a lipstick topper if that floats your boat um, but I wouldn't mind wearing this just as a regular degular clear lip gloss again nothing to get super crazy about because we all have a sparkly clear lip gloss somewhere around so i don't really know what else to say about this one but this is what it looks like okay lastly but not leastly we have sparkle lava now that means there must be a whole lot of sparkles in here sparkle lava from what it's swatched like behind my hands this one is definitely erupting in sparkles sparkle lava it sure is. There is like multicolored sparkles in here. This is definitely over the top, but in a subtle kind of way. How can you even use that in one sentence? Like subtle over the top. That's what I feel this lip gloss is. Is that it has all those striking sparkly elements, but yet at the same time, it's still a subtle sheer finish. Isn't that weird? It's like you should never be able to use those two words in the same sentence. Subtle and over the top. It's a smooth finish, but like I said, here and there I can still feel a little bit of the sparkles on my lip. But guys, let me tell you, um, these definitely wear a bit weird. After having it on for like an hour or so or two hours and it starts to dry, that's when I feel the sparkles on my lips and it's, it doesn't, it doesn't dry very nicely. Let's just put it that way. It's, it dries very weird and it dries to the point where you can feel the sparkles on your lips and maybe it's just me, but that's my experience. Let me know how it is for you if you've tried them before, but I don't necessarily like the way it dries, so I always make sure I have some sort of lip balm to rub that over my lips or else it's gonna look, it's gonna dry very unattractive to me. It dries very unattractive on me, let me put it that way. Cause that's my personal experience with the sparkly lip glosses. And I also do that with Saint Tropez, which is my absolute favorite, absolute favorite lip gloss from 
Anastasia. But when I wear it, I make sure I put a balm over it when it's drying because I just don't like the look it gives me when it's drying. It's a very unattractive look that it gives me. So, my opinion, but this is what Sparkle Lava looks like. And the way I describe it is a subtle over the top gloss, just a little more extra sparkles for the sparkly loving gal. Okay, so for a little recap of these spring lip glosses, if you've never tried Anastasia's lip glosses, I always recommend starting off with the mini sets, and that goes for any brand. If you can find something in a mini size, try the mini size first. It only makes sense. So if you don't like it, then you didn't waste a whole lot of money on something that you're not gonna wear. But I've always been a huge fan of Anastasia's lip glosses. Listen, if I had to choose between her liquid lipsticks and her lip glosses, it would be her lip glosses. I have these in for like every season. I have her summer lip glosses. I got the one for Christmas, and then I saw that these new spring ones were out, so I got them. Every mini set that comes out, I literally have all of them because I love her lip glosses. I just feel like the formula, these are two new formulas, and compared to the ones that I've swatched in the past or worn in the past, um, they're not as pigmented, but then again, this is a spring set. So when I hear the word spring, I think about, you know, fresh and, you know, not as bold. So it's just a sheer finish. It's a sheer, they're sheer, translucent finishes with a little bit of color. There is nothing bold. There is no power pigment there. And I was just kind of disappointed by that part, not having that much pigment with these two. But to be honest, they're still wearable if you want to put a darker lip liner. Like I said, you'll just have to put in a little bit more work to make the color complement your skin tone. Also, these do transfer. They're a gloss, so you can't expect anything less from a high shine gloss. So they do not last very long. It is going to come off as soon as you eat or drink. So you have to make sure that you carry your lip gloss with you. That's any lip gloss because you would have you will have to reapply your lip glosses throughout the day and it's no different from this lip gloss. It is going to transfer. Um, as far as stickiness, there is a little bit of stickiness to this. Like I said, all lip glosses are sticky. Some lip glosses are just way stickier than others. Um, what else? These do smell very well. They smell like vanilla. They always did. And you know, it's not a turn off for me. I don't mind the scents, but if you're sensitive to smells, you might want to stay away from these because it's not overpowering. The scent does disappear after you've worn the lipstick for some time. It's just that initial, um, it's just that initial whiff that you get when you actually open the product that you get that vanilla smell and when you apply it the first time but it fades away after some time so it gets less and less bothersome the longer you wear the gloss but that's all I got for you guys make sure to go ahead and give me a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe so that you can continue to see more swatches like this from me and I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next a lipstick swatch video. Bye!